guys, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands-On Learning. In today's video, you're going to see math activities. There's two activities in this video. One is on place value and the other is a simple addition activity. Now, I noticed when I was planning out the school year that I didn't have a whole lot of hands-on math activities for my one child. He just turned seven. And the reason being, a lot of the activities that I have written in my early learners math curriculum and other math activities that I have created are all just too easy for him at this point. So I decided that I was going to start making activities that met second grade standards that he could use this year. So in subsequent videos, you're going to be seeing me share a lot of those activities. In this particular video, he did one of those activities and then he did one of the activities, the easy activities from my early learners math curriculum. I figured since it's the beginning of the school year, he could do a few of the easy activities still while I'm still creating some of the more difficult ones. Three plus four equals seven. One plus six equals seven. Two plus five equals seven. Zero plus seven. Yeah. Excellent. So this activity is called doghouse sorting. It is from my early learners math curriculum. This activity, you have to match the addition facts to the correct doghouse, and you'll see that the doghouses all have numbers on them. When he would match them up, after that, I would have him go back and say all of the facts that he matched up over and over again, because I wanted him to practice for memory. This was really fun and super easy, but a really great way to start out the school year with something that wasn't too difficult and helps him memorize his facts. Three plus seven equals ten. One plus nine equals ten. Two plus eight equals ten. Five plus five equals ten. Zero plus ten equals ten. Good job! review of easy addition, okay? So since we're in our first week of school, we're gonna just do something super easy. These are the addition puzzles, and what you're gonna do is you take a puzzle, and you're gonna look at the puzzle. So how many balloons does the first girl have? Two. Two, so we'll write our first number is two, plus how many does she have over here? Six. Okay, so grab six. Make the equation, you're gonna put your plus sign in. Make the equation. So the last step then is to find your answer and match up your puzzle. Now I put this one on top, so grab your answer. Okay, very good. So now what you'll do is you grab the next one. Take that one off, take that one off. Okay. This last activity you are seeing is place value strips. What he has to do is say the name of each number or the value that he sees for each one. And then when he gets to the end, he colors in a smile face to say that he's completed it, as long as he's completed it correctly. 
he can do it three times to practice for fluency and then flip to the next strip and try another one. There's a few different types of them in here. Now, this activity comes from my new bundle I was telling you about that is for second grade and meets all the second grade standards. If you're looking for anything, I'll leave links below in the description box. These numbers, so we're gonna start real easy with hundreds, okay? And then this also has thousands. And then when we get to here, we're gonna say the place value. And when we get to here, we're gonna say the place value. But let's just start easy. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna to touch each box and say the number. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.